stage up, and Cloud Fan Fiction Cloud was finally coming home from a long day of playing as a woman to infiltrate the creep's mansion, Don. He swore to never allow anyone to convince him to go undercover again. He had a very upright posture from using the corset as he strolls exhaustedly to his home. Then he heard an explosion. He readied his greatsword and swiftly turned in the direction of the explosion. The explosion was coming from his next-door neighbor's house, and there's smoke coming out of the window. Obviously, he figured someone was in danger. He rushed over there and kicked down the door. The place was covered with smoke that he can't see. Is someone in here? Cloud shouted for an answer. But the only thing he saw was a hand grabbing his face and an explosion afterward. Cloud flew back out of the house and landed on his back. Why does it smell like burnt caramel? He asked himself. He sat up and from the smoke Bakugo comes out. Bakugo's palm targeted Cloud. You think you can rob my place and get away with it extra? Bakugo exclaimed with intimidation. <laughs> Cloud grunted as he used his sword to stand up. I was checking to see if there was a fire. Lying gets you nowhere, now fight me. Bakugo charged in for another attack. Cloud used his sword as a block from the explosion and then got pushed back further. He decided it was a good time as any to make his finishing blow because what he had seen. <laughs> that guy doesn't have much experience. Cloud stood firm and charged at Bakugo with his greatsword taking a big swing. But then Bakugo leaned all the way back for his dodge. This surprised Cloud. Bakugo took his chance and created an explosion on Cloud's <laughs> stomach. <laughs> Ah, Cloud screamed. Cloud underestimated Bakugo. <laughs> Cloud got pushed back once more. He gazed up and saw Bakugo coming back for an aerial attack. Shit, Cloud pierced and guarded with his sword. Bakugo prepared his finishing move. He had his palm out on one hand and formed a circle with his other hand on the first hand and made a precise blast at Cloud. AP shot. Upon impact of his sword. Cloud's feet made dents after dents on the ground below him. He refused to crumble. After the blast was over, Bakugo dropped to the ground on his feet and his hands started to cramp. Cloud walked out of the crater that was made. He started breathing heavily as he wasn't expecting to block that make force. He took notice of Bakugo's cramped hands. His weak point. So you can't fight back with your little explosions, Cloud noted. I guess I can put you, they're not weak. Bakugo charged at Cloud again with another explosion but Cloud emerges out of the explosion. And Cloud hit Bakugo with the blunt side of his sword with immense force. Down went Bakugo, Cloud sighed and put his sword back in his sword sheath. Kids these days, Cloud dragged unconscious Bakugo into his house and threw 